So what's going on? My name is AP and welcome to my channel. Hope everybody's having a great day. Now the early access beta to Black Ops 6 was finally released today and I want to share my thoughts on it. Now I know after three years of multiplayer struggles, people are wondering, is multiplayer finally back? And I got that answer for you. And the answer to that question is not quite, but it's hopeful though. So in this video, I want to share with you the good, the bad, and the ugly. But let's start off with the good stuff first, you know what I mean? So now first starting out playing any Call of Duty title, one of the biggest deal breakers for me is I gotta find out are the maps good. If the maps aren't good, I'm probably not gonna play that title for very long. Now Black Ops 6, they announced that they're gonna be dropping 16 new maps and they're all gonna be three lane map style. Now I played the four maps today and they were solid, man. I couldn't ask for anything more except for more maps. Where the damn maps at? So one of the really big things that you're gonna notice even before you start the game is that the UI and the gunsmith is a lot better. Treyarch did a really good job designing things, putting things in its proper place that makes sense. It definitely doesn't feel like they contracted a intern from Hulu. Now for those people who didn't like Call of Duty Cold War, I don't blame you because I was one of those people too. And I'm gonna warn you, Black Ops 6 does have a Cold War feel, but OmniMovit changes this game for the better. One of the biggest reasons why is the change for the better, OmniMovit makes you feel like you have more control over the game and what you're doing. And then it's really easy to learn. It only took me about two to three games to pick up on it. So if you're worried about Omni Movement being too advanced or anything like that, you shouldn't worry about it because you're good. So I wouldn't be me if I didn't keep it real with you. So let's get into this ugly ass truth. Just like any Call of Duty beta, it's kind of hard to get loaded into a lobby. And then once you get loaded into a lobby, you gotta wait for one more person just so you can start the game. I'm pretty sure they're gonna fix this when the game comes out, but right now it's really annoying. Now, even though three lane maps are back and I'm very happy about it, the sad part is, is that the spawns are horrible and inconsistent. Now, I know this is an ongoing process that takes time and testing, but it's still a big problem in the beta, so I gotta speak on it. So in my opinion, the meat shield is just pointless and just removed from the game. I mean, it sounds fun in theory, but it just doesn't add any extra elements that makes the game exciting. So why should he even be there? I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just me, but you can leave me a comment below telling me how you feel, but I really don't like the hip fire in this game. It doesn't make sense and it's inconsistent. So I hope they fix this before the game drops. So I don't know about for you, but for me, this is a big problem. Some of the things that I hated about Cold War is still in the game now. For me personally, I hated the audio. I mean, everything about the audio of Cold War sounded fake and generic from the way the weapon sounded when you fired them and I mean even the hit marker sounds were all unappealing. I'm so surprised that they had two plus years to develop this game and all they did was just copy and paste the audio from Cold War over to Black Ops 6. So in my heart of hearts, I'm very hopeful about the game. I only wanted to be successful and do great things. So with that being said, I'm gonna give this game a 7.2 out of 10. And that's just from me playing the early access beta for one day. That's my time. And if you enjoy the content, you know what to do. 